Hey guys, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming. So, being a lover of such titles as Dwarf Fortress and Rimworld, I can't help but be interested in Stonehearth as well. Still very much in the thick of early access development, Stonehearth promises to have the block building and crafting of Minecraft, but set on the scale of an entire society of beings known as quote unquote hearthlings. Your hearthlings can pretty much build anything you can imagine from scratch and even save those designs for future games. That part is very cool. On top of all that, there is a roguelike RPG element to not only the warrior hearthlings, but even the civilization's crafters and tradesmen who can also improve their skills. Anyways, I played this a while back, and although totally fascinated by all the possibilities that this game could offer, I found that there were far, far too many bugs to post any kind of videos on it at the time. Well, it's pretty safe to say that there is still a very long journey ahead for Radiant, the developers of Stonehearth, before the game is finished and bug free. However, I do feel that it is so very content rich even now that it is worth coming back to to give it another go. So we're going to totally live on the edge and we're going to try out the latest alpha build, Alpha 12, which would be technically considered unstable. So naturally the series could abnormally end at any time and I don't know, it could be crazy and we could find all sorts of bugs and weird stuff going on. But I still think it's going to be an absolute blast and we're going to see the newest stuff available in the game. So yeah, let's get to it. Now, it's important for me to bring up once again that it has been a while since I've played this game. I think it's been at least a few alphas since I've played, so a lot has probably changed. And I'll be counting on you guys that are familiar with the game to kind of give me some tips here and there, because I'm sure there's going to be some things that I just never seen before. So without further ado, let's just let's just jump in, you know, because I think that's the best way to relearn something is just to jump in. I'm not going to read anything. I'm not going to watch any videos. We're just going to play. So we uh, we have the choice between a normal game and a peaceful game, a normal game. I know this was here before. A normal game kind of hits you with increasing levels of difficulty. In other words, there's going to be bad guys that we have to fight and protect our village from. Whereas a peaceful game, you don't have to worry about any of that. It's more of a sandboxing. Well, of course, uh, I like invaders and I, well, <laughs> invaders in this game, maybe not in Terra Tech, but in, <laughs> in this game, <gasps> Um, I like I like invaders like there's goblins and monsters again skeletons and stuff. Absolutely. We're gonna play a normal game <laughs> Sorry for that little interruption. I just had to adjust something so we get to pick our starting characters Well, not necessarily pick them, but we get to roll a set of characters now This is slightly different from what um, we I had in the original alphas that I was playing I don't think we got I don't think I got to re-roll uh, so no we could actually pick so um, what there is three main stats for your starting characters. There is mind, body, and spirit, I believe. Yes, spirit. So mind is uh, the ability to think intelligently. A high mind stat allows a hearthling to exceed in complex mental tasks. Influences diligence, curiosity, and inventiveness. Ooh, lots of really big, cool words there. Then we've got our body. Competence at physical activities. Hearthlings with a high body stat will move faster, influence muscle, speed, and stamina. And then we have, of course, spirit. Faith in other people. A high spirit hearthling will be easily befriend others and stand strong against enemies' influences. Courage, willpower, and compassion. So, it, uh, if I remember correctly, so mind is the uh, trait that you want for your carpenters, your stonemasons, your blacksmiths, because um, it allows them, of course, to do a really good job. And on top of that, kind of like Dwarf Fortress, if you have a highly skilled dwarf at d doing your carpentry or whatever, there's always a chance that they can build an epic version of that product and it's the same goes for this game your characters can actually build epic or or higher level versions of the same thing whether it be a stool or a sword or whatever so of course having high mind for those guys is important i think the max you can have is six at least that's what it used to be and it looks like that's the same but maybe i don't know it looks like it's the same because i don't see anything higher than six and then your body of course you want high body for people like farmers um, who who need to move around a lot and use adds a lot of physical activity and of course body is really important for your warriors as well but I was finding actually even with the earlier alphas that it was even better if you had a character with all three stats that were high for your warriors but I don't know um who knows what's changed but anyway and then your spirit I don't know who I don't know if I don't remember any specific characters that would specific roles that would that you need high spirits so. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. And I'm sure you guys are going to let me know all this stuff. So are we happy with our group here? So we've got, um, you know what? I'm going to roll again because I'd like to see another, a couple high, high rollers here. Whoa, no, that's terrible. Terrible. And uh, no, no, no. Maybe, I wonder if it is completely random or 
Because technically, if it's completely random, there is always a chance that we're going to run... So there's a 663. That's pretty good. Ah, one more. Come on. I'm just going to keep doing this until I'm happy. <gasps> Sign of the devil. 666. Uh, Amelia has a 666. Amelia would make a fantastic warrior. And then we've got... Uh, looks like everybody else is kind of average. Oh, we've got a good person for a carpenter. Oh, yes. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with this. And then we've got some basic uh, people that can just move pr move stuff around and do some building. So, yeah, kind of your, your plebs. The plebeians. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, now we, it looks like we start with 150 gold and we can use that 150 gold to buy some stuff. And not a lot of options here. The trapper's knife is worth 150 gold. And if I remember, the trapper was pretty awesome because um, when you uh, capture an animal, you could get meat and furs from it, which was, you know, it was just double bonus. And you could sell the furs or you could make clothing out of it or whatever. Now, of course, farmer's hoe, wooden sword, and spindle actually could all pretty easily be made by the carpenter i believe i think the spindle we need something else as well but um i think the trapper's knife is probably the of course it's more valuable so yeah we'll do that all right we're gonna buy that and uh away we go we're gonna embark and also i wanted to make sure that everybody knew that if you want to be part of the game i think we can still rename our characters so i would love to rename our hearthlings after you fine folks um just let me know in the comments below if you want to be a character but keep in mind that we only have so many so please don't be upset if, if you don't get picked i try to do it completely random i do have a random number generator and sometimes the lovely lisa helps me out with that too just so it's completely fair so but yeah just let me know in the comments below if you'd like to be somebody um you may not get to pick who you want to be if you want to be a warrior well that may or may not happen but you, there is a possibility that you'll be picked for you know somebody I mean, hey, it's better to be somebody than nobody, right? All right, so, yeah, it looks like the map has improved pretty nicely. Like, that, look, the, even the, the look of this looks gorgeous. Like, it looks great. Um, hmm. And it, now on the right side, you can see we, it can tell you the density of your trees and plants, wildlife, and minerals. And generally, minerals are found near the mountains, kind of like Dwarf Fortress. And, of course, then your trees and plants. Um, that would include, like, berry bushes, which were very important in the game. For early food, an early food source, you didn't have to farm. You could just immediately run over and pick berries. And then wildlife, of course, you can use to harvest with the trapping knife. So uh, having high wildlife is actually a great idea since we did pick the trapping knife. But I do want to be fairly close to the mountains. I'm not happy with that map. Let's do something else. All right. And, uh, of course, if you want to play along and you also have stone hearth, you can actually match our seed. That's cool. So it just shows you what the seed is. And so you can actually play the same map. That's kind of cool. All right. Uh, this looks interesting. So water features. This is something new. I don't remember there being water features in this game the last time I played. So I think that's a pretty new thing. Um, I wouldn't mind being near the water, but I also want to be near the mountains. So this is some, some, something like right, right in there. Would be pretty cool if I could get at least two wildlife. I don't, if I remember correctly, it was really hard to get more than two wildlife in any map. So, um, two is pretty good, and I'm happy with whatever minerals it gives me because we, there, if we're close to a mountain, we're, there's gonna be lots of minerals. I'm not worried about that. So, uh, trees and plants, three. Yeah, let's, let's go right here. We still get to choose exactly where we want to land, but that uh, gives us sort of the general area. Let's do this. Perfect. You can farm silkweed for a steady supply of thread fiber. Yeah, you see, I don't even remember if I made it to a point where I was making clothing or anything. I don't even know if that was available in the game. Okay, so move the camera is space and m space plus mouse. Oh, right. Oh, and then it goes away. Oh, man. It, okay, well, I, I will remember the controls. I'm not too worried. Ah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Pretty pretty straightforward. Um, so this, if, in case you're wondering, this is build 2609, and we are running in 64-bit, so I don't know if there is a 32-bit in this. And now we get to actually place our banner, and I want it to be fairly close to the water, and I also want it to be fairly close to the mountains. And uh, it looks like this would be a nice little defendable area, although I would love some berry bushes. Is there any berry bushes in here? Berry bushes are just an awesome early source of food, and food in this game is is important on multiple levels. Of course, you need food for your guys to survive, but of course, food, food is also a metric and determines whether or not uh, your, your, your civilization grows by a new hearthling. So a new hearthling will come to... This is new. Wow. Some of these trees I've never seen before, too. Like, there's all sorts of new stuff here I've never seen before. So I assume that's just stone. You can mine that. Uh, now, so yeah, to earn more hearthlings, they don't, they don't reproduce naturally. At least that's not... At least they didn't used to. I, I, maybe, maybe that's changed. I, I don't see anything nearby here. I'm going to go take a look. Oh, man, I want to be near the water, but yeah. Oh, oh, actually, well, uh, that's not bad. We could go in here. Uh, no, not totally happy with that either. Ugh. 
You know what? We we well, I will focus on farming more, I guess, at the beginning. But that means we probably so yeah. To get new hearthlings, you have to have a certain amount of food, certain amount of structures built, and something else. And I don't remember. <laughs> So I guess we're going to discover that. So I guess we'll just go to an area where we've got lots of farmland and stuff, and then we'll we'll go from there. Ah, I guess. Ah, sorry, guys. I know this is taking a while. Uh, you know what? Oh, there's silkweed and everything down here. Man, look at all this open space. Uh, it seems like trouble, though. I think I think we, I think we're going to go up in here. So yeah, without like, I don't want to waste any more time here. So let's just go there. All right. So uh, rocking laugh fill. What? <laughs> Um, no. This shall be henceforth known as Deluxeaville Township. Deluxeaville Township. Is that... Yeah, did I spell that right? I know, I'm making up words and I'm asking if I spelt it right. No, I didn't. Deluxe... Hold on. <laughs> Deluxe... I know, everything with me takes twice as long. So if you're looking for a fast playthrough, this is not it. Deluxeaville Township. Very nice. All right, and uh, let's pause it right away. There we go. And okay, so this is everybody here, and uh, oh, I have to remember how to play this. All right, so this is a list of all our characters, and we should be able to do double, 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 double click. Nope. Oh, ta. -ha. Nope, nope, don't want to do that. All right, okay, yeah, I didn't want to be fumbling over the interface. <laughs> you know, that I don't think, I didn't think you guys would appreciate that too much. So you have to actually click on the character face. So, and then we can cycle through all of the characters here. And we're going to assign them right away. Uh, at least figure out who's going to be who. So we do have our 666 character. That doesn't seem right somehow. They should, I don't know, that's weird. 666, so that's our max out, max on and everything. So we're actually, what we're going to do is we're going to change the name of this character. Now, because we're going to be naming these characters after you guys in the comments below, um, I don't want, I'm just, I'm just going to mark it right now because this is going to be my warrior. So Amelia Warrior, you no longer have a last name. You are now a warrior. That's who you are. All right. And of course, once we rename the character, uh, of course, it won't. Yeah, well, we're going to rename the character, so that, that's enough said, right? And, of course, I want a person with six mind to be our carpenter. We're going to establish that right away. You know, I could be totally doing this wrong. It's been so long since I've played. Uh, yeah, this is great. Wow. This person will make a great carpenter. Six, four, five? Uh, I think Spirit is also involved in that, in the making of, of stuff, too, as well. So, uh, Tenler? No. Uh, Tenter? Liam Tenter. No, this is going to be Liam. No, we will call him... Woody. <laughs> Woody Tenter. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> that doesn't sound right at all. Um, that way, I, I know automatically who those two people are. Now, we're, we should have a pile of goodies? Maybe not. Um, well, right away, the first there's a couple things we're going to do right away. We're going to, if I remember how to do this, yes, we're going to harvest. Mine tunnel, mine block. All right, so we're going to harvest some of these woods here. Oh, that didn't work. There we go. We're going to harvest some of these trees so that we have not only a place to pl plant farms and stuff, but also have some material to work with. We are going to place down a storage zone, like a stockpile. I think we will place that sort of kind of in the center-ish, like right... Oh, let's see, I want it to be the right size. That's the thing. And I don't think... You, well, at least you, di you didn't used to be able to adjust the size of it. So do we do the stockpile? See, when enemies come in, they're usually aiming for the stockpile. So you want it kind of in a fairly defendable place. So I think, ooh, okay, so that's about the biggest we can do. Let's see. Uh, oh, wow, they cut down those trees very quick. Very, very quick. So 20 by 20, there we go. Do the biggest size, and we're going to allow all products. Yes, so do our fortress. See, I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay, so we have some wood, and okay, here we go. We've got a... A saw. All right, so let's go to our... Now, see, it's easy to find out who my carpenter is because it's Woody. Woody is going to be our carpenter. So I think if we double-click... Oh, wow, well, we could double-click there and open that up. Okay, well, I didn't know that. All right, there we go. So we're going to change his job. We're going to make him a carpenter right away so we can get him working. And uh, we're not going to worry about making our other guy a warrior quite yet because I don't... Oh, there he goes. Yay! He's worshipping it. Oh, yes. Oh, mighty saw. All right. So now we should be able to place a workbench. And that's where he's going to do most of his crafting is on the workbench. So, uh, oh, I guess he's got to build it first. Oh, this interface takes up so much of the screen. I can't even see. I think I am playing in 1980 by 1020, but uh, did he build it? Kind of kind of flying blind here. Oh, he did build it. Oh. Uh, where, what? 
Where did he put it? Okay, so hold on. We're going to pause it here for a second. Wow, they chopped down those trees very quickly. I, I don't remember them chopping down trees so quickly. Oh, there it is. Carpenter's workbench. Oh, so we could have gone... Yeah, we could have done it from here. There we go. So yeah, there's our carpenter's workbench. For now, we're going to place it nice close to our fire pit. And he's going to do most of his work. Eventually, we're going to be building a building to do all that stuff. And uh, we don't want everybody standing around. So there is a bit of a time crunch in this game because... Um, every day, it sort of assesses your progress and decides whether or not you deserve to have somebody new join your your, your group. So um, it's good to start building stuff right away because that is part of it. So they take your net worth and your net worth is dependent on how much stuff you have built and in your stockpile. So um, it's good to start building. As a, uh, in terms of building, so first of all, <laughs> you, they, it comes with some prefabs. So there's a dining hall, tiny cottage, shared sleeping quarters and cottage for two. Now, I'd like to build my own stuff. Um, I don't know if that's a wise idea on YouTube because people, I don't know if people like that or not, but I really like to build my own stuff. Once I build something I, I like, of course, um, we're going to build more of it. Um, but so I'm thinking like we're going to do our housing kind of across oh, water, water. Yes. Yes. Water prop like property al along the water. It'll make it more valuable. I don't know to me anyway. So we're going to do six by six. Because uh, the, the beds are, th they used to be three by two, I think. So we'll do seven by six. Yeah. And we're going to do, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I get really excited. Uh, reinforced, double reinforced. No, we're going to do single doors. Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> um, oh, maybe, oh, I have to do the walls first, maybe. Uh, that's possible. All right, so we're going to do wooden walls. I'm going to make them look like log cabins. Ah, there we go, yes. And, uh, yeah. Pretty good. There we go. Just like that. And of course, we're going to be using, it's going to be all wood to build these first initial houses. Eventually, you can build houses out of stone and, I don't know, maybe even, maybe in some metals. I don't know. I have no idea. So we're going to do a door there. Yes. I think we'll just do the one door on the one side. And we're going to do, um, I think it'll just be a single floor. Uh, how do I turn? Uh, I think there we go. So there's that and we're also going to put beds and stuff in them But we don't have to do that right away. Uh, we can do a couple windows. Actually. That's a good idea I like these little things these diamond windows So we're gonna have to build all these separate parts too, like the diamond windows and such but uh, yeah It's good practice for our carpenter who needs all the practice She can get I think she's a she I don't remember uh, all the practice she can get uh, because she can inc inc increase her level uh, is that even? Oh, no, it's not. Okay, how do I undo? Uh-oh. Oh, man. Sorry, I get kind of lost here. All right, so uh, let's try that again. I think it was first level. Got to I'm very... Having some symmetry is really important, unless I'm aiming for not having symmetry. And then we're going to do a... Ooh, I like kind of that uh, thatchy kind of look. All right, so we're going to do that, and we're going to... Oh, so you can, you can do all sorts of crazy stuff. So you can have it... It's kind of uh, all four corners, or you can kind of do that kind of, yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, we want to do it the other way. So we're going to turn off, turn off the east and the west, and then, yeah, oh, that looks very homesteady. It looks very nice. Looks very nice, very Victorian. And we're going to do a window up top, and we'll do the different kind of window. Or we could save that to put uh, decoration or a lamp or something. Uh, but I, I think we'll do a window up top. Well, no. No, we're not going to do that. I think we'll go a very basic house. So there we go. So we've got a very very basic design. And I think we can name that, I hope. Yes. So we're going to name this Small ad mm, Small and Quaint. <laughs> there we go. Small and Quaint. And we're going to save. Oh. Man, what? Shouldn't... Ah. Why does it make me ask, or why does it ask me that question multiple times? Small and quaint. So yes, and well, now that we have that design, we can just replicate it everywhere and build. Uh, yes, start building. All right, so yes. Uh, let's get everybody moving, and all they should need is wood to build that. And uh, we are also gonna be, need some beds too as well. And as soon as our carpenter has planted her little thingy, there we go. Uh, how do we do that? <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a while. Uh, there we go. All right, so we're going to need a couple beds, and she is high enough level, and you only need to be level one to build some beds. We're going to build one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight beds total, and we're going to build. Uh, we're going to need 
a bunch of these window frames. So I'm going to make sure that we maintain one of those in inventory at all times. We're going to need uh, at least one of these in inventory at all times. So this is kind of cool. At all times, it will always have at least one of those, right? So she'll build them as we need them, right? I love that. And of course, I want some lamps. The lamps or the lanterns are really awesome. So these ones are placed in the ground, which we'll use for our farmers. And whoops, uh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, that's that's fine. And then we'll maintain one of those in inventory. We're gonna maintain at least one of the other type of lantern. This one you can actually put on walls and stuff, which is kind of cool. Uh, whoops, maintain. So we're gonna have a few extra here, but that's okay. Anything extra you can always sell to as well. Besides that, it's really good practice. Oh, this is new storage. So you can have crates that can hold stuff. Neat. Um, we're gonna need a farmer's hoe. So we're gonna craft one of those. We're gonna need a wooden sword. Craft one of those. We're going to need a hammer and chisel. We can't do that yet until we get some stone, which won't be too hard to get. And of course, a weaver spindle, we'll have to go out and find or grow some, uh, I forget the name of the material, but we have to go get some of that. And eventually we can get a carpenter's tool bench. Oh, fancier tools allows the carpenter to work with cloth and other civilized ingredients. Wow, that's totally new. And then um, let's see what else. Uh, we're, oh, definitely need some doors. I think we put just the regular wooden doors in there. We're gonna maintain one of those in inventory. We're gonna maintain all of the different types of doors in inventory. That way we always have choices, right? I really like having choice. And, uh, oh, did we get that window? I don't remember. I think we did right at the beginning. Yeah, we got that. And uh, fences, we're gonna build a bunch of those, but I'm just checking anything else. We're also gonna get some chairs and tables building right away too as well. I'm going to craft 10 chairs. We may not use them all, but like I said, we can sell them. And we're going to craft five tables. That's two two chairs per table. And we're going to... Th oh, dressers. Oh, cool. Let's, let's maintain one of those in inventory as well. It doesn't hurt. Might as well maintain a park bench inventory. Awesome. A writing desk. Yes, keep one of those, please, as well. And I also want to keep an extra dining chair in inventory at all times, as well as these other simple wooden chairs keep one of those in inventory you may think i'm building a lot here maybe needlessly but as oh see there we go our carpenter has reached level two and as they go up in levels not only do they get more hit points and stuff like that but they actually start to get better at building of course or, or better at their trade which means it opens up all sorts of new stuff that they can build too as well and like i mentioned before they can actually start uh Look at these guys, building way. I love it. I absolutely love it. Now, I remember the last time I played, they used to get really bugged out and stuff all the time. And I, I, from my earlier experiences in this, you always wanted to build just one building at a time because if you built more than one, it became kind of a, a buggy mess. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. We need to pause. Ah, uh, animals, that's right. We need to get our trapper going. That's why we got that trapper's knife. Oh, man. Okay, so let's let's see who, was, who would make a good uh, trapper. Okay, so we've got 224. We want somebody with high body and high spirit, I think? I don't know, high body anyway. That way he moves really quickly. Uh, nope. Uh, oh, this guy looks pretty, oh, that's our carpenter. <laughs> no, 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 ah, there's really nobody that's exceptional. Ah, well, he's got high mind, but yeah, it seems like kind of a waste. Um, but we also want somebody with high body to be our farmer too as well, which we need to get going right away. Um, this person might actually make be no uh, no 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 three is kind of the highest oh no 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 can't do that <laughs> I keep wanting to to hijack my carpenter and make him into something I think we're gonna make uh, Zed into a farmer we'll call him uh, farmer <laughs> North Point because he's gonna be renamed anyway and we're gonna make him a farmer right now we'll do that because we've got we should have built a no, no. Where is the... Uh, oh, there we go. We built uh, a hoe. Oh, right. We I must not have built the hoe yet. Must still be in the queue. Okay, but we still... We need to get a uh, somebody to do... Uh, the farmer is actually more important in some ways than the trapper for me because... At least right now because we have no other source of food. So I think we'll do Tulip here. <laughs> kind of a funny name. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. This game is is kind of... It's kind of... It's it, it feels young. Like, it feels like... Uh, it's a kid's game almost, but there is a lot of content here. All right, so he is going to be Trapper. Again, he will be renamed once I get some names from you guys. Uh, maybe Spirit will be good for that? I uh, Probably not. It's probably a terrible choice for a Trapper, but that's okay. We, we only have what we have to work with, right? We could have waited, but 
that's okay. He can actually take that role right now because he, we actually have a... There he is, Trapper. Um, we actually already have the Trapper's Knife, which is kind of a sophisticated tool that will allow us to get... Well, I guess that's good for early food too. I guess if food is still counted in the same way, because you get meat, right? So uh, now... Oh, right, I have to wait for him to go pick it up. So let's go do that. Let's let them... Why is that highlighted still? Should that be highlighted like that? Oh, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, I was, thought it was kind of funny. Um, now, how far away are we from the... Oh, there's our trapper. Trapper's good. So the hoe's still a ways away. We could actually tell him to build that sooner so we can get our farms going. That's probably a really good idea. Now our trapper's ready to go so we can actually build a trapping zone. So we can trap some of these awesome little animals. And I don't think you even need to have... Um, animals in the area, but I think like like see them. I don't think you need to have to even see them But it, it does help. I think I don't know I have no idea to be honest with you So you just make a big area and the trapper will go lay traps and of course trap animals and therefore uh, Trappers will place traps in a trapping ground and will periodically check to see if anything has been caught So there we go. There we go. Perfect. Just like that. Yeah so There he goes or she goes I guess nice pigtails for a trapper excellent I'm all about equal opportunity around here, by the way. I don't care if you're a man or a woman. You can do any job. I think I think we... Oh, ah, everybody's out of work. Oh, they built our first little house. Okay, so now what we can do is we can actually place our beds in there. And then they have a place to sleep on their first night. We still don't have a, a door on that building, but that's okay. It's coming. It's coming. Uh, how do I rotate the bed? I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember how to rotate. One second. Yeah, it says that right on the screen. So, yeah, you just do see period. <laughs> period, but there we go. All right, so we put one there. It's, it's going to be a tight squeeze, but we want to fit, you know, as many hearthlings in one place as possible. A tight little place. That way, you know, get as many people in, in beds uh, so they can sleep through the night. They just, they, they become happier. So there's a morale uh, metric in the game. So every, you know, <laughs> so you want to keep... Uh, why can't I click on stuff? Build in design. Hold on. Oh, it's pause, but okay, weird. Weird! Sometimes weird things happen. It's usually probably me. Okay, so we want to build more small and quaints. Now you can actually build them with the Why can't I? Oh, it is there, okay. Weird, weird. Just getting used to the interface. That's pretty much it. So we can rotate it like that. Let's put the uh, walls up so I can see where that door is. Because I want them to be, you know, nice. Oh, I should have put a window in the back of the building. I didn't even think of that. Oh, well. You know, we'll have to do a redesign. You know, these are the first houses that we're building for our hearthlings. So, you know, it looks like they built that one pretty quickly. I feel pretty confident. Finish editing. Uh, build. Oh, that's painful to build each building. <laughs> so now I have to go back? Like, oh, this is, this is, can I, oh. Okay, I, I, I'm confused. Where, how can I go back now? <laughs> uh, oh, maybe I can't, oh no, there we go. Okay, there we go. Perfect. All right, so let's build another one of those. I want to have at least three of those kind of nicely in a row, like a beautiful Victorian homes all kind of in a row like that. That's awesome. That looks really good. Why are those things are still are still highlighted? How do I take them off being highlighted? There we go. Oh, d engine error. Well, we knew this was going to happen, so, uh, hmm. All right, well, <laughs> uh, whoops. Well, we broke something already. Still, this is pretty cool. Look at him go. Awesome. Build, build, build. Now, uh, what we have our, oh, wooden sword. Okay, so we're probably not going to get attacked right away. We need people working right now. So we do have our farmer's hoe available, so let's get our farmer ready. Farmer North Point, who is going to be... Of course, uh, one of you guys at some point. And he is going to become a farmer. We need food badly because we actually do not have any source of food at all. So the way he goes, he's going to go pick up his little hoe. <laughs> Don't say that in a room too loudly. Go pick up your hoe. <laughs> it's not just, no, it's not good. All right, so he, we have a farmer. Now we can actually place farms. And I've heard there's all sorts of new things you can grow now i think i think we'll do our farmland over here so we're actually going to clear some of this land before we do that let's oh no this one there we go um we're going to take these trees out i don't know if there's any advantage to keeping used to be the uh, trees trees didn't replenish self-replenish like they didn't grow on their own 
Like once once you used a tree, they were gone. But I have read that there is a way to reforest now, and I think it might be one of the newest features. Oh, a simple merchant has arrived. Ah, simple merchant. All right, so we can buy clothing. So clothing will actually not only make your hearthlings happy, but certain types of clothing, like worker outfits, will make your workers work faster, which is great, except they just, I honestly, at this point, that's kind of silly. Oh, provides light protection in a fight. So this one would be handy, a padded vest. But we, ha we have no money to speak of, so that's ridiculous. Um, but we could actually sell some stuff, like... Uh, sell that, sure. Sell the door, sure. Because we're going to... Because remember, we set those to maintain at least one at all times. So uh, that's all we can do for now. We made a few bucks, but, you know, more more as time goes on. Let's get those farms down. Farms, yeah! Uh, I don't know what we can grow, but I've heard there's lots of stuff now. So that's very exciting. I think we'll start the farms right about here. Uh, 11 by 11. That's the biggest we can do. So I think we'll do... 10 by 10, because I just like the sound of that better. It seems like a better idea. We'll leave one spot between them. Like that. There we go. So two 10 by 10. So this one, oh, you can even have them fallow. So let the soil renew itself. Oh, cool. So I remember turnips, carrots, and corn. I remember pumpkins. Um, yeah, so the turnips are fast, fast growing staple crop, but not particularly nutritious or delicious. So not that filling, but very fast to grow. Probably a good choice for right now. And then the other one, the other one, we're going to choose. Uh, what? Oh no! Don't don't go fallow. No, what are you doing? Ah, r remove. No, no! I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, I got I got button clicky. All right, let's try that again. So carrots, fast growing but pretty bland. Yeah, so kind of the same as a turnip. We already got some of that corn. Slow growing but super nutritious. You know, maybe we should get a corn crop going. Um, I think one farmer could probably handle three crops. Let's give that a shot. I think that wouldn't be too much of a problem. I'd, I'd even I'd even say that maybe four crops because they will get faster, right? Uh, grain. So I assume I heard that you can make food now. So that's kind of interesting. So you could turn your wheat into bread, I assume, um, and other various things like pies. Maybe you could make like a corn and carrot pie. That sounds terrible. Um, <laughs> Um, and silkweed, that's what you need to make clothing, right? Um, it is now daytime. Uh, let's do pumpkins, because that's pretty simple. And you know what? I'm going to do a fourth one. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Didn't mean to do that. No, no, cancel, cancel. Follow, uh, remove. There we go. Let's make this one. Because I'd like to get clothing going pretty quick. I think that would be a great industry for us to make money. Let's do silkweed for that one. And we can grow flowers and other stuff too. Um, but, you know, I think we'll... Keep it simple for now. Well, sort of simple. All right, so they're busy building our third house. Moving along quite nicely. We got lots and lots of wood. Everybody's busy. That's what I like to see. As soon as people start standing around, I start getting itchy. Like I'm bad manager in a factory. Like, work harder. You have to work harder. <laughs> um, oh, look, they've got animals trapped. So where's our trapper? Where is he? Hold on. Uh, we need to find out what our trapper's doing because we've got guys. Hold on. He's... He's sleeping. Oh, he was sleeping in the bed. Oh, cool. So it's good. You know, priority to the guys that are actually, you know, have very uh, high-end jobs. I guess that's that's kind of a Republican point of view. Um, okay, so this is our first day's report. Day two of Deep, Deep, Deep Mum? Deep Mun? What? Deep Mun. Oh, that must be like a, a, a month? Deep Mun? Deep Mun. Uh, 1,000. 1,000 is a year, I assume. So day two which would be like a Tuesday of Deep Mun, which is probably like a January. Interesting. So, Deluxia Ville Township population 7, next hearthling requirement. So, we would have had to have had 50 food in in storage, 5.1 more, uh, 4 morale. We had 5.1, so that was successful. And our net worth was high enough. It's just, uh, yeah, so we just didn't have enough of anything else. So, I would speed it up, but I just think there's, I'm too talkative to speed it up, first of all. <laughs> oh, Trapper, he's, he's getting stuff. Ooh, what did you get? Oh, neat. <laughs> oh, oh, what's this? Oh, he got a level. Oh, man. Hold on. Can we see? Uh, 
Ah, there we go. Trapper got speed plus 10%. Long walks have increased the trapper's foot speed. Doesn't need to go very far when, when we're just trapping right here, though, eh? And, uh, oh, we're almost out of time. He got 10 hit points as well, which is awesome. And we're almost on our second house. Man, it sure would have been nice to get a, a new character or a new person into our town for the first day, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. We'd have to wait an entire, entire whole day now, but uh, we will have everything, hopefully. Uh, hopefully I didn't put too much pressure on the farmer. It looks like he's got these planted, though. He's got some stuff planted already, so it should be okay. Um, the farmer will definitely get some experience. I wonder if it shows an experience bar. Experience. It does show an experience bar, but he may not actually start getting experience until he actually pulls something out of the ground. So, <laughs> it's, it's going to be a lot of work for our poor little farmer. He's got four fields to tend, but that's okay. He will be non-stop. We could probably harvest the rest of these uh, trees here because we're going to be making use of that. What I'd like to do is some crafters... Uh, houses over here and maybe a dining hall right here like right on the other side of the farm where they can celebrate I also want to be sure that we have some defenses some basic defenses Which means I want to build some fences sort of along here and some fences Along here and that just to kind of keep the rabble rowdies out like goblins and stuff So this is kind of a fanciful game So there is goblins and and skeletons and and fanciful D&D type creatures that will come and uh oh uh, cheap carpenter level four. Oh, wow. I'm a, I missed a couple levels there. Holy smokes. Okay, so extended catalog carpenter now has the courage to try more elaborate projects. Ah, oh, cool. Cool. Neat. I missed level. Uh, yeah, I was talking probably. That's that's fine. Um, what kind of stuff can we build now? I wonder if we can build anything else. Different. Oh, we can build the shepherd's crook. Yeah, we need sheep for that. I don't know if that's. I think that's like a higher level. Promote, uh, required to promote Hearthling into a Shepherd. And I don't remember exactly. Hold on, I just want to see something. Sh shepherd. Yeah, Shepherd's like a, like a higher level up Trapper. So I could turn my Trapper into a Shepherd. I'm, I'm just going to build one just so that we have it on hand. Because I, I, I don't know how that works. So <laughs> we'll keep one of those on hand. And of course, we can't do the Spindle. But I do want to get that going pretty quick too. So we're going to have to find some... Silk. Hold on. Let me just double check the requirements on that. We need some s fiber. Any fiber. So any plant material at all. And I don't think we... Oh, we have some gold in there. That's kind of a weird place. Wait! Oh, everybody's hungry. There's no food. Uh-oh. People are going to be very, very unhappy. Um, I wonder if there's any berry bushes at all around here that I could send them to. That This is bad. This is bad, folks. Maybe I should have bought some food. I don't think that trader had any food though. Uh, there's the closest, the closest berry bushes are a long ways away. Uh, okay, well, hmm. Let's. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. If, I don't know if this is a good idea or not. I have no idea. We're we're you know taking a chance. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and harvest these berry bushes. So they these have just food that they can eat right off the uh, tree. So maybe they will go for those. Maybe. Or they're just going to stand here and be hungry. Uh, I think she might be going. She might be going. Um, Trapper, she's going somewhere. Nope. She... Okay, so what about this meat? Cats, we did get meat, right? Oh, fine wall-mounted... Oh, the, see, we've already got some fine products. Fine chairs. Cool. So our, our carpenter is actually doing really well here. But d we didn't get any meat. Uh, fox pelt. Is there a way to, for me to see what's in this stockpile? Ah, doesn't... Yeah, I don't know if there's a way for me to see what's actually in the stockpile, but... Uh, which is unfortunate. <laughs> um, everybody's really hungry. Um, we need somebody to go collect some of that... Uh, it might be too far away, too. They may not... Or we need... Oh, we need, oh, we need ladders. That's why. Um, so what I need to do... I think, I think. I don't know for sure. But I think we need to build ladders so that they can get down here. There we go. We'll build a ladder there. And we'll build a ladder here. And if we, might as well, we'll try marking these ones too as well. I know, I know I'm, I'm out of time here. At least I'm out of time for myself because I, I can't, I can't play much longer. But uh, maybe, maybe they'll go do that. Oh man, come on, go build the ladders. <gasps> oh no. Yeah. Oh, what is he doing? Oh, he's eating raccoon jerky. Oh, they got food. Look at that. You got food, guys. Actually, we could probably put another trapping zone. That way, 
Yeah, let's put another one over here. <laughs> Just because... Oh, oh, he is going to build it. Cool. So we're going to put another trapping zone here as well. Uh, we'll put it like that. Because I see lots of foxes there. I don't know if that makes a difference or not. Um, because uh, apparently we can have raccoon jerky, which is a nice early source of food. I was a little concerned there. But I think we also need to put these ladders here for them to go down and possibly like go down each level and then come back up i think that's I, it's always easy to go down right but it's oh it's a little tougher to come back up if especially on these slopes like holy crap these slopes are like straight up <laughs> okay so yeah he's coming down all right let's speed this up just a bit speed 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 come on come on come on come on yay hammer 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 <laughs> now go you're good all right so now everybody sh Maybe they'll come and collect that stuff. Oh, here they come. Yes. Dinner. They smell it. They're like, let's go get some dinner. Now, hopefully by the time the next rotation hits and everybody's hungry again, we should have lots of jerky and berries. And of course, we will have stuff growing in our farm like those turnips and what did we grow? Turnips and I don't even remember. I think it was corn. Corn. Yes. And pumpkins for some reason. I don't know why I picked pumpkins. Just because it's almost Halloween. That's why. Hey, look, our farmer is doing great. Actually, he's, it's perfect. It's got more than enough time. Look at that. He's, he's actually standing around now. He's like, I got nothing, nothing to do. Um, why did they stop building houses? We've got, we've got materials. It, it's because everybody's hungry. Okay, so we can actually put down some more beds, though. So let's do that. And then I think we'll call it an episode. Otherwise, I'm just going to do this all day. Because, because this is so much fun. So much fun! Uh, I hope you guys really like Stone Hearth. I'm sure, I mean, it's been around uh, on YouTube for a while. I've seen a few people that uh, play it. I haven't actually watched any of it. My, my episodes will come out probably every two to three days. Somewhere around there. Anyway, guys, I'm going to call that an episode. Uh, that's Stone Hearth, first day. All right, take care.